Today we celebrate the day our God and Creator became one of us and perfectly met the demands of God's law in our place. Paid the penalty for our sins against God by dying on the cross, again, in our place. He was buried, then just as He promised, resurrected on the third day. Now the resurrection is the proof that He was who He said He was, God in the flesh, and that He could do all that He promised, i.e. save His people from their sins. These are the truths that separate Christianity from all of the world religions. Our Savior is alive, and He accomplishes all of our salvation. We do not contribute to His finished work in any way other than to repent and believe, which itself is even a gift from God. I'll have verses for further study in the description of the video, but here are two that I want to read to you. 1 Peter 3.18 For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that He might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the Spirit. 2 Corinthians 5.21 for our sake he made him to be sin, who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. In closing, this is the most unusual period of our lifetimes. It has reminded us all of the fragility of life. Or what James said in chapter 4, verse 14, that we do not know what tomorrow will bring. He says, what is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes. Throughout Scripture, we see God use trials like this to draw His people to Himself. Don't miss His voice. Today, if you are lost, anxious, afraid to stand before God on Judgment Day, Jesus is calling you. He's saying, Come to me all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls. Rest in Jesus. Share this with someone you love. Happy Resurrection Day. He is risen, the tomb is empty, and Jesus is alive.